Hello there, friends. It's, uh, it's been a pretty interesting last year and I have some announcements to make. Um, <clears throat> my thoughts are gonna be a little bit scattered, so uh, I may be, uh, it may take me some time to get out what I wanna say, uh, but please do watch until the end. There's a big surprise coming for you. Um, yeah, just stay Well, friends, it's uh, been some time since we've all gotten together and um, there's some important news I wanna share with you. Um, before we get to that though, um, I have to tell the story from the beginning. It was a cold, cold night in December. Temperatures had dropped below freezing. It was quiet and dark. A setting befit for the event. Police sirens sounded off in the distance as children stooped over trash can fires to warm themselves. Max Brown was to be born that night. A slightly glimmering star shining ever so faintly against the dim darkness of Fort Wayne. At birth, his parents and doctors alike were amazed at his first words. Informed the gatekeeper, it has begun. At the age of seven, Max found himself thinking about if he would ever have friends. Three years later, Max found his answer. Not yet. A couple more months later, middle school would start. Deep in the soil of Fort Wayne, a new wave was spreading. The sesame seeds would not yet be born from the earth until a few years later, but the seeds had been planted, and the water was starting to drip from the leaky faucet of boring nights. For the first time in his life, Max Brown had friends. Max Brown had friends. Max Brown had found friends. Then it happened. A day that will forever live in infamy in Fort Wayne, Indiana. No one knew where they came from. No one knew what they wanted. We all just knew that life would forever be different. The visitors came on June 10th, 1992. Curiosity came first, which turned into interest. Interest creeped into jealousy. Jealousy quickly turned into fear. Fear led to anger. Anger naturally led to hate, and hate eventually led to suffering. One by one, the sesame seeds fell by the sword. Max alone had somehow survived. Some odd three decades later, Max became the last known person on the planet. Max was now alone. Max had friends. Max had lost friends. But then, Max was sent a weird link to a YouTube video with no further description. Max watched with interest and anticipation. And then he heard a familiar voice. One that he had heard over a crappy Harbinger 120 PA system for many years. A voice that squeaked at low notes and cracked at high ones. And now Max, Max, and now Max, I have to ask you a question. Uh, will you be one of my groomsmen coming up this wedding in June? Um, scratch that, it's July, it's not June. July 19th to be exact. Yeah, July 19th. And um, yeah, it's coming up. Um, if you accept, please uh, text me the opening line to khakis, and if you reject, send me a selfie of you wearing khakis. And um, yeah, don't mind the the back window. Yeah, it's kind of taped back together right now. Anyways, I anticipate um, what you're uh, going to send me. So if you could, that'd be great. All right, see you, see you, Max.